So this is uh, the video solution for homework number nine. And uh, you're given a part like this. And in this part, these top two holes are clamped. And on the side, on these side faces, we apply a pressure of 200 PSI uh, in, the, in the direction that's shown. Uh, you're asked to use as many planes of symmetry that are applicable, if any, of course, and uh, solve the problem. There are some instructions about the type of material, type of element that is to be used, linear element, and then you have to do a local mesh refinement around any holes that are remaining uh, once you use symmetry, if any. And the size of that uh, local mesh is half the regular size that is given by the Katia program. So the question is, how many planes of symmetry do we have? Most probably, and most people will look at this and say, okay, I can see one plane through this. That's good. And another plane halfway between uh, this top face and the bottom face like that. So one vertical, one horizontal, and do not forget that there is one uh, uh, through the depth of this thing. Okay, so we have two choices. We can either make this whole part and start cutting it with the appropriate planes, or we can just do one eighth of it. It's entirely up to you. I will leave it to you to decide on how you're going to do that. In my case, in this particular problem, I'm actually going to do uh, the model, I'm going to create the model directly as one eighth of this whole thing. Okay? So uh, let me go ahead and make this part. Let me go to Katia, part. and make a shape that resembles one eighth of that object, which means when you look at from the front, it's actually just one quarter. It's just that when I pad it, pad, pad it with half of this length depth, and that gives you one eighth of the entire model. So on that vertical plane, I will sketch. Let me see. It looks like, uh, uh, well, I can do this. Yeah, okay. So let me, use a profile, like so. I'm going to put the dimensions later on. We can, we can clean it up in just a minute. Okay, a couple of things. Uh, the center of that circle, the center of that circle must be on that vertical edge, and it's not. So the center of this circle, control, uh, that vertical edge, they must be coincident. Okay, we did it. Now some dimensions, we want uh, this thing to come in tangentially to that. And if it's not tangential, it may be, I'm not sure. But if it's not, here's one way of achieving that. So we draw a line, like so. Well, actually, you know what, uh, yeah, we, we, we draw a line like that. Notice that that line is perpendicular to this. And now we're going to say, okay, uh, this curve control that line. They must be tangent to each other. I think they are. They are already tangent. You can see that it came in tangential. I don't need this line anymore. You can just let it go. Delete it. Now let's put some, uh, well, let me put this circle, half a circle here. And then we uh, trim it. Okay, let's do a quick trim here. Uh, so where's the quick trim? The eraser, that goes. All right, and we're gonna put some dimension. I also notice something else. It looks like the center of this circle and the center of that circle must be coincident. So we can say this, oops, controls that, controls that. Whoa, I think I, Inadvertently, uh, I inadvertently just got rid of that. Okay, so let's clear up. 
Now, of course, they're, they're concentric, this circle and that circle seems to be concentric, but I want this point to be on that, at that end. This point, control that point, we make them coincident. Okay, very good. And now we dimension. So double click. Uh, this radius must be based on the drawing uh, 0.5. 0.5 inches, Oops. 0.5 inches, okay, that radius is 1, okay, what else we have, uh, this length is 1 inch, all right, that angle should be 120 degrees, so between this line and that line, that angle should be 120. All right. Uh, this must be one. What else do we have here? And uh, this. Uh, Does that, uh, does that fix everything? What about this length? Uh, we see, no, the location of that, let me see, there's something, uh, if this was, uh, if these were all the dimension, then this would be fully restrained, fully constrained, and therefore everything would be green. So there's something that is not specified here. And, okay, yes. In this drawing, in this homework, uh, that dimension is six inches. That's why, that's what was missing. Okay. Six inches, which means this is going to be. Let's uh, exit and pad it by one. Uh, now the actual drawing shows you a total width, uh, total width of two, uh, one inch. So we're going to pad it by half an inch because we're taking one eighth of the whole thing. So this is one eighth of that wall. Now it's made out of steel, so let's apply material on it. Uh, apply material on this part. Steel, say okay. Good. And now we're going to go to generative uh, structure analysis. Katia immediately measures that. All right. Uh, we are told that we want linear elements, so double-click on this line, make sure it is linear, and the size of it is 0.217 inches. That being the case, we are told to refine this by half of that. So we go to uh, Model Manager, second sub-toolbar, local mesh size over here. So that's going to be 0.217. Divided by two, there we are. Don't like it. Let's try it again. Point two one seven divided by two. Yeah, okay. So it rounds it off to one nine. That's okay. So we just find. Notice that this is smaller than that. And if you want to see the mesh, all you have to do is to put your cursor on this line, right click. Mesh visualization and just uh, here's the mesh. You can see that it's finer there and coarser there. So let's uh, deactivate this mesh. Okay, deactivate it. And if you don't like this particular rendering, change it to not something that's not material shading right there. So what are we told? Clamp that face. Very good. Apply pressure of, let's see, uh, 200 PSI. So here's the pressure. There's 200 PSI, but this is compressive. So if you want tensile minus, you put a minus, and then, uh, of course, 200. There we are. Very good. Should we go and run it? A lot of people will do that, but the answer is no. Because you introduce some cuts here, these symmetry planes must be restrained. 
using the surface slider. So here's a surface slider. This is a symmetry plane. This is a symmetry plane. Bottom is a symmetry plane. And that back face is also a symmetry plane. Now we have proper restraints on it. Uh, before we run it, actually, let's go and save everything. File, save management. Uh, this is the uh, that's the one. That's the analysis file. Save as. Uh, let's say in this. This is this is homework nine. Correct? Yeah. So I'll call it homework nine. Nine. We say okay. And uh, I get directory. All right, so because remember on the final exam, if a problem was given to you that requires analysis, finite elements, and it will be, uh, you have to give you not only the analysis part of, uh, or the part file, but also in the analysis file, okay? Cat part and cat analysis. Okay, now we're gonna run it. This is the standard message that pops up when you put surface slide here. I'm not sure why I'm not getting rid of it. It's good. So let's look at it. Here is the deformation, how it's going to look like. If you can animate it, you can see that's reasonable. If you want numbers for deflection, you click on this displacement. Very small displacement. This is pretty much nothing. This is one inch piece of, piece of steel, thick piece of steel, and you're putting a 100 PSI on that face. That's nothing. Uh, so uh, let me do the following. Let me change the rendering here. Average ISO and material shading. There we are. In the event that you want to see the elements also, just go to the rendering, the very last one. If this is not checked, check it. And you're going to see the elements. Uh, deflection, of, obviously, is going to be biggest here because that's where you're applying the load and stretching it. And then when we say stress is right there, that's a very low stress. The yield strength for steel, mild steel is about, I don't know, 18, 19,000 PSI. It's nothing. All right, folks, so this is uh, pretty much it. Good luck.